guys, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, so for today's video, I'm going to share with you what I purchased during the Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Cyber Week, Black Month, whatever you want to call it, uh, sales uh, that happened around Thanksgiving. Uh, it took a little while for everything to kind of trickle in, which I think a lot of us are experiencing uh, the shipping delays right now. Uh, there's one order that still has not come in, but I, I have no hope of it arriving anytime soon, so I figured uh, I would go ahead and film. But I'll, I'll tell you what that is, and it's basically been at a shipping facility that I could drive to. Like, it's within, I think, a 40-minute drive of me, uh, and it's just been sat there since, I think, December 7th, so who knows when it'll turn up. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is going to be all the makeup uh, type items I purchased and then I'm going to film a separate candle haul, <laughs> uh, Black Friday haul, because uh, I happen to purchase a lot of candles during Black Friday. So uh, let's just get into it. So uh, this was a little bit before Thanksgiving. I got the four Viseart Petite Fours uh, palettes and I haven't actually played with these yet aside from the Petite Four Praline, or Praline, however you want to say it. Uh, and that is what I'm wearing uh, on my lids today. So if you can tell, I have these really obnoxious uh, ginger man, ginger woman earrings. Uh, I got these at TJ Maxx, I think. One of those type stores. And I think they're Betsy Johnson. This isn't really part of the haul. I purchased these, I think, earlier in November. Uh, but that is what the, the box looks like, if you are curious. Uh, Betsy Johnson and uh, let's see it looks like I paid 15 for them and yeah they were from TJ Maxx so if I can find them online or something I'll link them although by the time you would order them and get them it'd be past Christmas but maybe next year uh, and then I also got these little studs which are basically the same styles just in uh, miniature uh, so I thought these would be nice if I want something a little bit more subdued but still festive. So maybe next year we'll have some fun parties and that sort of thing. Uh, and then this sweatshirt is uh, from ASOS uh, a couple years ago now, I think. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm wearing this uh, Petite Fort Praline and I figured it was kind of a gingerbread-y type color story. In fact, uh, when I opened it, I thought it could have been called gingerbread. I mean, that's a little bit more seasonal. Uh, but I, I really do like this. I, the only thing this is missing for me is like a matte cream, but it's hard to put like a basic shade like that in every palette, especially when they are this small, but I just set my lids with uh, some powder. So that was fine. But yeah, really nice quality. Uh, really nice and creamy. Really enjoyed that. So. Yeah, I look forward to playing with the other ones. And I did see that, I think Fizier is going to be putting out some sort of refillable magnetic palette, which uh, if you watched uh, some of my other videos, you'll know that I really like having, uh, like for example, the Signe Grace uh, refillable palette. Uh, this one has a mirror, but I just, I like the outside packaging to reflect the brand of the shadows. I just, I like organizing things that way. I know some people don't care. They just throw everything together, but uh, I just like doing it that way. I also like that uh, Viseart changed the outside packaging color so that you can easily tell them apart. Uh, and of course they have that, it looks like it's either gold or rose gold on each of these. So really nice little cool tone palette. That is Lilas or Lilas Frambois. A little bit more pinky toned. And then Chocolat, which is a little bit warmer. So uh, yeah, if, if they do have that kind of refillable palette, I might, I, I plan to purchase it, whether I put all of these inside, it, it's, you know, undecided as of yet, but they are a cute little stack. And I got each of those for $15.40, which I think is a fair price. I think they retail for $22 and there, there was some kind of discount or sale. Uh, I actually did manage to sign up for a Viseart Pro account. They were doing some sort of deal where when they launched their or relaunched their website, uh, 
basically anyone could sign up for a pro discount and I don't know if that gives me 20% off any time, but whatever the discount was, uh, I got them for $15.40. Okay, so the next order I placed was at Anthropology, and they were doing 30% off. Uh, they still have, I think, 30% off sales or various discounts going on, so uh, if you missed out on the Black Friday sales, you know, check their website to see if you're interested in anything they have on sale. Uh, but I finally got some of these uh, slip scrunchies. Uh, so this was the, I don't know exactly what it's called, uh, but it's some sort of holiday gift, obviously. Uh, these are the skinny size, I guess. And uh, this was originally $25 marked down to $17.50. And they have four scrunchies. So these are the skinny ones. They have like a nice uh, burgundy color, like a, a blush pink, uh, which actually would have probably matched my sweater here. Um, and then like a leopard print, I think. And then the last one I'm actually wearing is just the uh, the plain black. So, uh, so far I've, I've been really impressed by these. I haven't done, well, I could take out my hair now, I guess. Uh, it's been up a little bit. Um, yeah, I mean, I have a natural wave in my hair, so it might be a little hard to see if it's left a, a mark, but uh, I do like these. Um, I'm not sure if they're worth the price, but I like them. So, especially getting them on sale, I'm happy to have them. All right, so I got one candle that I'll show you in my other video from Anthropology, and then I got this. There's gonna be some um, homeware type um, items in here too. Uh, <laughs> I got this frame. Uh, this is the Cityscape frame and it is London. It has um, black and white with gold metallic um, painting, I guess. Uh, and then this is just like the filler, mind the gap. I mean, you could leave it in there if you wanted. Uh, it's a four by six picture frame. Uh, so, I I liked, like, I envision for my future beauty room that it will have kind of like a black and gold art deco kind of style um, theme. And um, so that would definitely fit in. And then um, my husband is um, from London and uh, we were there last Christmas. So I don't know if there's a picture that I would print out for that frame or, I mean, hopefully next year we'll be back. So you know, we'll find some picture to put in there at some point. But I'm really bad about putting pictures of us in the apartment or even of my family. Like I'm just not a big picture person. Um, so I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to be better about that. Okay, uh, so that was it from Anthropology. Uh, Biosans, I got the Squalene and Rose Vegan Lip Balm. Uh, this was, I think it was marked down to $9 maybe, and then there was some sort of deal where if you signed up for their loyalty program, you automatically got like a $5 off code. So I ended up paying like two bucks for this, which I thought was pretty great for a lip balm. And I do like squalene as an ingredient, and I don't think I've used any products from Biosense that I've outright hated. So as you maybe can see, I've used it a bit already, and uh, I have been enjoying it. It's a bit more of a, how would I describe this? I don't think it has petrolatum in it, but it almost has that kind of stiffer, like waxier texture. It's kind of clear. Uh, as you can see, it's not as like, I don't know how to describe it. It's just a little bit stiffer, I guess, than like the Laneige um, Lip Sleeping Mask. Uh, you can kind of see that it gets a little bit, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but. Uh, I like it. It's just, it wasn't quite what I was expecting. I guess I was expecting something more along the lines of the uh, By Terry Balm de Rose uh, for no other reason than it has rose in the name, but there you go. Okay, so from Macy's, I don't think they were running a site-wide uh, promotion. I just think they had certain items on sale. And then I also had the $5 off coupon from my November Macy's Beauty Box. Uh, which, if you're curious what I thought about that, I'll link it up for you. Uh, 
But anyway, I had another $5, which I wanted to use because, you know, I had it. Uh, so I got two of the Caudalie, uh, what are these called? Hand cream and lip conditioner. Uh, these were originally 12 and they were, they had a value of 20. And then I think I got them for like $7 each maybe. So I really, I've used this product, um, both of them before. I used to buy, uh, Sephora used to sell this set as one of their uh, Black Friday specials. Uh, I didn't see it. They didn't do their like $10 Black Friday deals this year, I don't think. But uh, anyway, I, I've gone through both of these. I like both the lip balm and the hand cream. Uh, it's a good like work size, although you know, who knows uh, when I'll be back to work. But uh, yeah, so got two of those. I think partly to get to the free shipping threshold, which I think was like 25 bucks. Uh, and then I also got a Diva towel, which I, I've already bought two of. And... One I kind of stopped using because I wasn't letting it dry properly and it started to get a bit icky. Uh, and then I got another one as kind of a backup for when I'm washing the other one. So uh, anyway, I think this was marked down to about 10 or $11, which um, originally it retails for, I think, 20. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know that this is anything super fancy. It's just a microfiber towel. It's a good size. It's 20 inches by 39 inches. Uh, so anyway, I just like using that as opposed to like a turvy twist or whatever else. All right. So next up we have some Pat McGrath. So she put some of her lip glosses on sale. Uh, so I got the, uh, Sunset Seduction Trio, which looks like that. These were marked down to, I think, 13 each. And then I think I was able to apply another 10% off. Uh, so yeah, I got the Sunset uh, Seduction Trio, which contains Love Potion, Sunset Rose, and Flush 6 uh, in that Lust uh, lip gloss formula. And then I think this is like a red set. Yeah, this is the Red Opulence. So uh, this has Carnal Desire, Blood 2, and Celestial Ruby. And then finally, there is the Bronze Opulence, which contains uh, Pale Fire Nectar, which I think I already have one of, uh, Flesh 6, and Lunar Bronze. Uh, so for the, the price, I definitely wanted to um, pick up some more shades. Uh, I would swatch them for you, but that would just create a mess. So <laughs> uh, I'm sure there are lots of um, swatches online. Uh, and then I think after that, it wasn't the same day, uh, but a few days later, I don't know if it was for Cyber Monday, uh, she discounted, I think, her full-size lip glosses, and I think they are still on sale, uh, and also, like, her full-size lipsticks and all that, so I got a few more shades. Uh, I got three, and these were $12 each, so I really made myself kind of rein it in, because uh, I could have gone, I could have gone a bit crazy. I have... Uh, two full size already when these went on sale at Sephora. And then I had that first trio I purchased, um, which has uh, Pale Fire Nectar and Divine Rose in it. So it's a great way to try the formula. So I figured really there's only so many lip glosses you can use in a lifetime, but I do really like her formula. Uh, so I got the Flesh Fantasy lip gloss. And uh, this was a shade I remember Miss Lola Lynn talking about in some video. So I decided to give that a shot. And then I also got Prima Donna, uh, which is more of just a cream pink. And then the last one here is in the shade Aphrodisiac, which is another, I guess, more medium pink. A bit more of a coral, really. Uh, so I got all three cream shades. Uh, I think the, the minis I picked up have definitely have some shades with uh, shimmer in them. So it's good to have options either way. Okay, so I placed an order at Kosas, and this is the order that is in shipping limbo somewhere. Uh, I got the Chemistry Deodorant. I think they were doing 30% off their website. So uh, it was a product I had been interested in, but I just never 
you know, pull the trigger. Uh, so that is originally 15, it was down to $10 and change. Uh, and then they also had a free weightless lipstick in Fringe, uh, which has a $28 value. I think that's a full size. So they were running that deal, the sale and the free lipstick. So I went ahead and placed the order. Uh, I guess that's another one of those cases where don't count your packages before they arrive, it, whatever. Uh, and then I got the tinted face oil card, which I still need to do my um, Kosas full face video. Uh, I do have, I think, two shades of the face oil now. I just need to actually, like, do the video. But I just figured I'd get that sample anyway. Uh, and, yeah, hopefully that'll show up sometime. I think, um, I think Samantha March just put that Kosas deodorant in her, like, worst of 2020, maybe. Uh, which, I understand that it's not an antiperspirant, and I don't recall exactly why she didn't like it. Uh, Part of the reason I'm interested in it, uh, I still use like a traditional aluminum based deodorant like 80% of the time, depending on what I'm doing. Uh, sometimes I use the uh, Kapari deodorant if I just, you know, take a shower at night and I just kind of want to moisturize my underarms, especially if I shaved. Uh, but I don't expect it to have like super strong, it's not an antiperspirant. I don't have, expect it to, you know, last me through the entire next day sort of thing. Uh, but the deodorant I use um, with the antiperspirant is the Dove Clear Tone, uh, which I think does help like reduce any discoloration um, in your armpits, uh, just say it like it is. And uh, this chemistry deodorant is supposed to have like an AHA or something that does something similar. So, so I just wanted to try like a natural deodorant that's supposed to also help with the, the tone of your underarms. Uh, so anyway, so I'll, I'll let you know if that ever shows up. From Bloomingdale's, I don't know, it might have made more sense to do like a home haul and not just a candle haul, but whatever. Uh, so I got this, I think it's called a spray uh, from Kurt Adler. I think this was marked down to $10. It might have been 20 or something originally. And I think I might have needed to hit a free shipping or I just saw it and I liked it, so I threw it in. Uh, this is called the 37-28 inches gingerbread star spray. Uh, so eventually when we have a house, um, I'd like to do more sort of Christmas decorating in the kitchen, probably centered around a gingerbread theme. So um, I thought this was cute. It's supposed to look like little stars made out of gingerbread. Uh, one thing I didn't quite think about or think through is that the, the stem is quite long. Uh, which can be good if you want to, you know, stick it in a vase or something, but I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to store this. So I guess we'll cross that bridge, in, you know, in January. Uh, and then I also got two mugs from Vilroy and Bach, and this is, I think it's a German company. Yeah, it is a German company. And uh, I have kind of a sentimental attachment to Vilroy and Bach because, uh, my dad was stationed in Germany when I was a kid and um, my mom, like she got like a full set of Vilroy and Bach China. Uh, it's like a green and pink floral pattern. Uh, <laughs> if I take any pictures at Christmas, I'll show it or if I can find a picture online, I'll insert it or whatever. I've already told her like, I wanna inherit that, that set. Like it's just, it's something that, you know, it's our family China that we always get out for the holidays and um, I think it's a pattern that's discontinued now, but anyway, uh, yeah, special place in my heart for Vilroy and Bach. And uh, I saw these uh, New Wave mugs. Uh, we've actually gotten some of the New Wave mugs that have like the city themes on them, uh, and even some of the little like espresso size cups of like London, and um, I think we got one for Cape Town. Uh, anyway, just different places that are important to us. Uh, but I saw these mugs that have like our, or all of them actually, the uh, zodiac signs. So um, this is mine, this is Aries. It's, it's hard to show you this way, because I mean, I'm right-handed. I don't know if anyone who's left-handed would feel comfortable holding this. Uh, but anyway, it's just like a, a dark blue with this gold um, on it. And I, we don't plan to drink out of these. Uh, 
Uh, I think one day when maybe we have a china cabinet, we'll display them along with all of our like Starbucks mugs that we've collected. So it'll be a very sort of interesting, eclectic mix of our china. Uh, so anyway, so that was Aries, which is mine, and then my husband's is Sagittarius. So I don't think, let's see, oh, they say they are dishwasher safe. That's actually surprising. I don't know if they are like microwave safe because they have that kind of metallic part to them. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, I, I saw these and I was, you know, interested in them, but then uh, I saw that they were on sale for like $13 each. So I went ahead and uh, picked those up. All right, moving on to Ulta. So uh, I placed a couple orders at Ulta. Throw the tissue paper. Uh, so I got the, the Juvia's Place, uh, the Topes palette. And uh, this was on sale for $8.40. Uh, I haven't fallen in love with many Juvia's Place um, palettes because they tend to be just a tad dark for me. Uh, but I heard some people say positive things about this, so I thought for the price I would pick it up. Um, Juvia, I mean, it's one of those, it's one of those brands where I think it's minority owned and it's great to kind of support that and support um, small businesses or independent businesses, whatever. Uh, but there have been some less than flattering stories about her as a um, employer, so uh, it always gives me a little bit of pause to um, purchase from that. But anyway, uh, so I guess I'll save the, the gift to the end. Uh, I got three of the Buxom Wanderlust blushes, which again, I'd heard people talk about for a while. Uh, and I finally picked up. These were on sale, they were half off, I think. So they were like $11.50, down from 23. And uh, I got three here, as I said. Um, so the one I'm wearing right now is actually um, Mykonos, which is a nice uh, peach uh, shade. And then I also got Ibiza, or Ibiza, if you prefer. Uh, which I think is a brighter pink. Let me get into the box. So, brighter pink shade. And then the last one here is Dolly, which is just their like classic pink shade, I think. Oh, it's actually more of a mauve now that I look at it again. Uh, so, so far, so good. I mean, it applied well. Um, Dolly, Ibiza, I still have some like nail polish on my fingers from doing them earlier, but okay, so um, nice and pigmented and then that's I think a good assortment of um, colors. Uh, if these go on sale again like during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, I might, I might pick up some more. You never know. I don't even remember what the other shades were. Okay, so three of those. And then I got the classic makeup eraser, I think. This is just, I think, the pink one. Yeah, just the plain old pink one. And uh, this was, I think, half off, so it was um, $10 down from $20. Uh, I'm just laughing because I, one of my long term goals for myself is to reduce my use of like disposable products, wipes, towels, that sort of thing. Uh, I do get, like what I'm using right now, for example, is this um, Tony Moly Peach Punch cleansing tissue. Uh, so, you know, if I have it, I will use it, uh, but I hope to eventually kind of wean myself off. Uh, and then I got this uh, seven day set from Makeup Eraser. And this has kind of an assortment of their normal pink and their more, I guess, corally pink. Uh, so this was, again, half off. It was $12.50 down from $25. Uh, I still want to try the face halos, I think, which um, Ulta has started carrying. So uh, we'll see if that happens in the new year. Uh, and then I got a Sesh Feet top coat. 
This was $3 off, so it was $6.96 down from $9.95. Uh, and I'd gotten a sample of this, and I don't know, sometimes it's just good to have a top coat like this. So uh, I decided to get one of those. Uh, and then finally, this is actually for a friend as part of her Christmas present. Uh, this is the First Aid Beauty Body Wash and Vanilla Cookie. Uh, and it was um, down to $9, so it was half off from $18. And uh, she's a baker, so I just thought it would be kind of fun to give her this. Uh, I'm not going to smell it and open it and whatever. Uh, in one of my Ulta hauls, I showed you the, I think Glistening Pear is the name of it, which I'm using now, and uh, Snowfall, something snow related. Uh, so I'm still using those and enjoying them. All right, so from Glossier, I think this was... <laughs> This was where Kate the Great really kind of pushed me over the edge because um, she kept talking about how Glossier um, only does one sale a year. Uh, so I think they were doing 30% off. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Something like that. Uh, of course, I got their little winter 2020 sticker, which is cute with the um, snowflakes. Uh, does anyone collect those, by the way? I'd be interested in knowing that. Uh, and then I got two of their new cloud paints. I think these are both of the new shades. I thought about getting more, and then I thought about getting maybe one of the older shades that I haven't tried yet, but I thought, whatever, I'll just get these. Uh, so that's Eve and Spark, I think are the new ones. Kate the Great kept talking about like Aspen Cheeks, and I just, I think like most people, like you just wanna be anywhere else but your home right now, so <laughs> the idea of, you know, being a snow bunny sounds pretty great. Uh, and then I got the sample of the cloud paints in Dawn and Dusk. Just another little sample. And then finally, I got a new product I haven't tried. I mean, it's not new for Glossier, but I haven't tried it before. Uh, this is the Stretch Concealer. And I thought this would just be a nice thing to try on kind of minimal makeup days. Um, I didn't try it today because... Um, I figured it would just not be enough. I'm wearing the Cover FX Concealer in N Fair One, which I've been enjoying. Uh, this is in the shade G12. So I don't remember if this is the lightest shade or if they have other ones. Uh, it looks like it'll it'll work. I mean, it's a pretty light coverage product, so um, I'll let you know how that goes. Uh, so that was it. I mean, nothing nothing too crazy. That was one order, however, that seemed to take a while um, to get to me, just with the shipping and everything. Oh, I forgot to talk about the Ulta gift with purchase. So I'll talk about the, the first one that I got, and then uh, I basically got the same one, but the different variation. So it um, has a purple kind of crinkly bag with a uh, poof on it, which is fun. All right, so I'll try to do this relatively quickly. Uh, I got the Four Sigmatic Mushroom Coffee Mix with Lion's Mane, which does have coffee powder, organic lion's mane extract, organic uh, chaga extract, and some other extract. So we'll see. Maybe if I get desperate one day, I'll try that. Uh, the Cause RX Propolis Light Ampule, the Caroline or Carolina Herrera Good Girl perfume sample. Uh, the It's a 10 Silk Express Miracle Silk Leave-In. This is a two flute ounce. Uh, a Zit Sticker, which um, I do use from time to time. Uh, I don't think it's my favorite pimple patch that's like this that has the little spikes, but you know, it'll do. Uh, a Nude Sticks Concealer in the shade Nude 3. A Tardis Lip Paint Sampler. The Alterna My Hair My Canvas Me Time Everyday Shampoo and Everyday Conditioner. Uh, I'm curious about this. I think I might have already gotten a sample of this, so uh, I might have to round those up and use them. The Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, which whatever. Uh, C by Giorgio Armani. Uh, Michael Kors Sparkling Blush. Uh, another of the Propolis Light Ampule, I don't know if that was a mistake. Uh, the Beekman 1802 Bloom Cream Probiotic Moisturizer. Uh, 
uh, the Jimmy Choo Fever, which looks like it has a really kind of pretty packaging to it. Uh, the L'Occitane 20% Dry Skin Hand Cream, which is one of my favorites, so it's good to have another little travel size. <laughs> another little um, makeup eraser sampler. I love how they package things so that they look like an eraser. Uh, I think they do that for the large size, if I remember what I just opened. Of course, I just destroyed it. Uh, but it's just a little, you know, kind of eye size, whatever. I think it says that you're supposed to wash it before you use it to, like, activate it or something weird. Yeah, it says machine wash before first use to activate fibers and prevent staining. So I just thought I'd mention that because I'm pretty sure I've used my other samples of that um, without washing it first. Uh, the Ulta Beauty Jelly Gloss Lip Gel. Uh, another lip gel, so maybe this was a mistake as well. Um, this is the tinted one in Beach Babe. Uh, the other one was just Waves. Uh, the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Exfoliating Treatment, Mattify and Invigorate. There is a Wild Honey Repairing Mask. Okay, so this is for your hair. It's interesting that it's in this like more square package because you normally don't see hair masks that are this kind of shape. Uh, and then I think there's just, no, there's a few more. Uh, the Tom Ford Ombre Leather, which is a really nice fragrance. Um, I... I don't know if it's a men's or a women's fragrance, not that it really matters, but um, I think, if I remember, I think I like my husband wearing that. Uh, the Cat's Perfect Night Mask by Tony Moly, infused with silk amino acid. Okay. And then the last thing here is the Barefoot Scientist High Dive uh, Intensive Hydration Cream. So, uh, and this was free with a an $80 purchase, by the way. So not like the most impressive gift with purchase they've ever done, but uh, if you're placing orders anyway, it's always good to like, you know, rack it up. Okay, so for my uh, second Ulta order, I got the Derma Pour. So this is what the box looks like. It is the Pore Extractor and Serum Infuser. And uh, this was, um, I think it was 84, and then I think I was able to apply a 20% off code to it, so I think I got it for about 70, which to be honest is still kind of steep. I don't I don't know that I've really taken the time to figure out how to use it properly, so maybe it's just my error. Uh, but the idea of this is basically that, um, if you can hear it vibrate, um, you use it to kind of <laughs> scrape your skin in a way and extract your pores. Uh, I don't know that it is, I don't know that it's worth it, uh, to be honest. And one thing that does annoy me about it is that it has this base, uh, and the, the charging port is right here on the bottom, but I don't know for the life of me why they didn't just make the base flat so that you can actually just stand it up on the counter without having to like slot it into this holder, uh, because that just makes it more precarious and I don't know, it's just annoying. Uh, so, unless you have, you know, lots of money to spare and you like trying new toys, uh, I would just recommend buying, um, I, think I have this one on the desk here, uh, this little type extractor. Um, I mean, do a little bit of research before you, you know, attack your face with it so that you're not causing any scarring or anything, but. If you're gonna do anything to your face with your pores, I don't know if this is the way to go. Uh, so anyway, I got that, and uh, I got another gift with purchase. Uh, so this is the um, same type, but it's silver, obviously. And inside this one, we had the Ahava Mineral Hand Cream. It's a 1.3 fluid ounce size. There is the Valentino, the new Eau de Parfum, Nomad by Chloe. Uh, there's a Biore charcoal nose strip, so that's another option for you if you want to extract something. Uh, I really want to get a hydrofacial. I was going to treat myself to one for my 35th birthday last April, and of course COVID happened, so I'd like to get one of those one day. Uh, anyway, uh, this is the Laura Mercier Translucent 
Setting Powder, the Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution. Uh, I actually purchased the full size of this years and years ago, uh, but I don't know if that was consistent enough with it. Uh, this is supposed to have a potent complex of activated sea, white birch, and peony. And this is a four mil little dropper. So maybe try that. Uh, the Philosophy uh, Micro Delivery Dream Peel, which has a combination of 6% AHA, BHA, and a gel. So, winter is always hard because we're, we're trying to keep the hydration in, but you have to remember to exfoliate as well um, to let things get in. Uh, the Blonde Ale Vibrance Boosting Brightening Powder from Dry Bar. So, I think you make this into like a paste or something. Yeah. And then lather in your hair. That's kind of interesting. I mean, I, I dye my hair, I get highlights or whatever, but I don't, I don't tone it excessively because it's kind of on the warmer side to begin with. Uh, okay, so the Paracone MD Cold Plasma Plus Neck Treatment. Uh, the Frizz Ease by John Frieda. A lot of packet samples. Uh, the Philosophy Sika Complex Recovery Moisturizer. A uh, uh, Kat Von D, which is still written on the package, or KVD if you prefer, a uh, tattoo liner. Uh, Skin & Co Whipped Cleansing Cream. Uh, the Becca Zero No Pigment Virtual Foundation. Don't think I'll be trying that. The NARS Climax Extreme Mascara. Uh, this is another product that I, I remember uh, Samantha March talking about and I think I still have samples of the original Climax mascara which I think got kind of negative reviews. I've heard better things about this one so far but she didn't like it so I don't know. Uh, the Shiseido Essential Energy Moisturizing Gel Cream which is a nice size. This is one ounce. So that's, that's actually pretty good. Uh, Benefit Professional. Uh, Versace Bright Crystal of a toilet, uh, a MAC lipstick sample with Ruby Woo, MAC Red, and Cockney. I think this is the same one I got from Nordstrom not too long ago. Uh, the Milk and Honey Intense Hydration Cream, and the Burberry Her London Dream. Yeah, I guess I'll have to try that one. And then just a few more, the Native Fig Replenishing Shampoo and uh, Conditioner by Rusk, and the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense. All right, so uh, I guess that's it for my Black Friday haul. Of course, I think there will be more hauls to come, especially with the after Christmas sales coming up. Uh, I've just placed two orders um, from Sephora for their sale on sale uh, going on. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it. and. Uh, more importantly, I hope you guys are having a very safe and happy holiday season, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.